What's up everybody, 915 Man here doing a video today, got the grill fired up. Gonna be doing a little bit of corn today, roasted corn, and of course a couple little hot links. I got a lot of things to talk about today. Um, this video is mainly gonna be of the 180. Um, the other videos I've been doing of are have been over the 20 gallon, but this one is just gonna be strictly over the 180. So make sure you stick around and check it out. Um, we're going to be talking about maybe some possible future videos. Um, but I do want to go ahead and say a big thank you to Aaron's Aquarium. Um, I was on the live stream with that. And that video pushed me over the 5,000 subscriber mark. So big old thank you for that. And that was pretty sweet because that was a pretty big milestone to be hitting 5,000 subscribers. Um, I've been doing videos for quite a while um, and uh, just hitting 1,000 subscribers was a super big ac accomplishment. So as a big thank you, I'll be doing a contest coming up. I'll let you know when, uh, maybe the end of January, I'll think of something. We'll do a couple of contests, try to make it worth your while for everybody, mostly for you guys in the U.S., but you know what, the U.K., We'll figure something out for the UK or for wherever you are, okay? I really haven't had this tank up too long. It just hit one year in December. And uh, everything seems to be doing okay as far as it can go. Um, this frog spawn is doing good. It looks really cool because it puffs up so much. But there's another frog spawn that's right here on the floor. And this one is a little bit faded. It's starting to puff up again. And the reason it got faded is because... I had it in the 40 gallon breeder. I was planning on fragging it because it was so big and uh, try to trade them out or whatever. But it's starting to get its color back in this tank and uh, the puffiness is uh, coming back. And what I'm probably just going to do is just mount it on this rock so I can have a big frog spawn rock and uh, everything can be uh, pretty good. But hopefully the, it gets its colors again. One problem that I am having is these uh, Nuisance Coral, which are the daisies. Uh, I really wouldn't recommend that you get any of them. The rosters right here are unaffected because um, the daisy polyps haven't reached here. But let me show you what they actually do. They, You can see that they're covering up my scrambled egg zoas. And uh, I'd much rather have the scrambled egg zoas than these stupid daisies. I'm going to be pulling this rock out just uh, destroying those daisies as much as I can um, with a brush or something like that. Uh, I'm not even going to frag them. Also, a little piece of SPS right here. Um, it's not like that because I said it like that. It's because my fish um, seem to be swimming around and just uh, fragging things themselves. Um, but every, as you can see, these daisy polyps are a pain in the ass. So I'm going to be getting a brush to them. Scrubbing the crap out of them. I'm glad they haven't messed up uh, my red planet or seem to have any kind of a vicious sting or anything like that. Because if they did, then we, I really have problems. My Mystic Monopora right here is is plating. Um, I put a little bit on there. And I put a little bit on the overflow right here. You can see on the overflow, it's doing really good. It's, it's coming close to that GSP. And if it's GSP between Montipora the uh, GSP is going to sting the crap out of it. Um, another cool thing that um, has been happening is this purple monopora or the Idaho grape. Um, I got a little tiny frag of that and now it's starting to grow into a good size uh, piece right there. I am going to mount it a little bit better so that way it could be like a show piece because um, I mean now I got the green, I got the red and I got the uh, purple monoporas, and uh, that's pretty sweet right there. Um, clove polyps all over the place. I really need to get in this tank and start fragging things up, getting rid of some of these polyps and stuff like that. Because um, I don't want things to be overgrowing. Now, I had a problem with my anemone. My original anemone was right there in the disc, but it had traveled all around the tank. And now it is showcased right here. Um, this anemone is the first anemone that I had, same anemone that was spawning and everything like that. And uh, it found its way right here. 
and uh, hopefully it'll stay there in its spot. Now as far as the anemones go, I haven't been feeding them anything. I do still have krill. Uh, krill works really good if you want to feed your anemones. Do not feed them uh, silver sides because it takes some more energy to expel the uh, skeletons. Krill, they do really good. Um, also, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, buy a whole bunch of uh, shrimp because uh, I'm tired of these aptasias. Um, and hopefully those uh, shrimps will go out th after them and uh, kill them. This rock right here needs to get pulled out. And I'm going to take off all these freaking pallies because uh, I got some uh, rainbow right there. And uh, I'd rather look at the rainbow than these uh, big pallies. Um, I wish I could just give them away. I don't know if you're local and you want some, let me know. I'll hook you up with those for free. Those are just the pallies. And also this uh, purple stylo, this big colony right here, was about to die. It was like bone white in my 40-gallon breeder. So uh, when I broke down my 40-gallon, I put it back in here, and everything is um, back to normal. Also, this uh, bird's nest right next to it is the actual uh, purple stylo that was about to die. But as you can see, it's back it's purple and it's doing good again. But this uh, bird's nest is huge. It's freaking huge. I got this as a little tiny frag from a uh, uh, 67 Mustang who goes by Budman Coral now. Also selling uh, SPS. But uh, I got that from him and that thing takes over that whole plate of rock right there. Which I'm not really happy with because um, I like frags and uh, that thing is taking up too much space. But all my other corals right here doing good. I need to get this uh, green pallies out of here. And uh, you know what I've even considered doing is getting rid of the whole rock. And then just put some new aquascape in there for something else. And uh, go from there. You can see this uh, monoporas died off. But you know what? It came back full force right here behind it. And uh, it's, polyps are looking real good. Everything's out. Also, I almost killed, uh, kind of just leave things alone, let it be, and uh, those things will take off on you. Also, uh, this green slimer right here, it's doing good. It's kind of running into this, uh, whatever that SPS is, which I also got from Corey. And uh, it's, like I said, it's doing good. But on the tip, it looked like it got fragged. And I think it got fragged by one of the tanks swimming by. They uh, are running out of room, I guess. And it's a good thing that they have 180. Check out this big bird's nest right here. I uh, set it on top of some red monopora. Um, the whole plate was just dying for when my elk issue. Now I just have like hair algae all over the place. But I set that big old green bird's nest on top of the monopora. And uh, it's doing good. I still have some um, of that pieces on the sand bed. And it's also doing doing good so when you think a coral's gonna die just leave it alone and you know what damn thing will come back and survive got a bunch of these little pallies and uh that uh, digi right there is doing good it's not so blue as it was i'm gonna be adding a little bit more uh, potassium to the tank hopefully it'll color up more blue and uh, as you can see i got aptasia all over the place but i'm gonna get some uh shrimp and hopefully they go at it. I was also watching a video of Michael Rice. Michael Rice, who is uh, works at the LFS in uh, Colorado, he was he did a pretty cool video about uh, cleanup crews. And I was thinking, you know what? I'm gonna get some of those shrimps, kill my aptasias, and I'm also gonna get some more snails. Bump up my cleanup crew. I think my ras be taking out the turbos even though the turbos you can see them at night but uh you know it's just one of those things that you got to add more um and i also want to add some of those uh, shrimp into the 20 gallon and go from there just to beef up my my uh my cleanup crew so that they can hook it up my algae turf scrubber let's take a look at that is doing good i got the skimmer online this scrubber is the surf 2 Maybe if I had the Surf 4, um, I wouldn't have any 
green hair algae because this thing is a monster. It does really good. Um, it's a little takes a little while to get started, you know, but uh, you can completely harvest everything from there, and uh, it'll grow back by Wednesday, Thursday, be totally full if you harvest it by Sunday. But you know what? I got the surf too. I got it for free, so I'm not gonna complain there. Let's go ahead and take a minute to look at all the little zoas that I have going on. The zoas, the pallies. The zoas are the little tiny ones. The pallies are the great, the bigger ones. But check out the utter chaos right here. They look cooler, of course, than the blues are on and everything. So everything looks cooler with the blues on, the sunny D's, um, candy apples. I got these uh, purple, heart, purple hearts. Um, everything's looking good. The Captain Americas right here are pretty sweet. Also, one of my favorite, easy to frag, and um, doing good. Also got a shitload of Aptasia. If you want some, you can have some. GSP, I'm surprised that GSP hasn't killed the uh, purple monopora or the Idaho grape. The These are doing really well. Um, I kind of just leave them alone and just too good. Some of my SPS, you know, need a little bit more attention, but these guys, I kind of forget about them, and you can see a colony is starting to grow. Uh, Duncan's, uh, everything's doing good, you know, what can I say, I'm going to give you a little bit of side view, this digi right here, um, this is what I was talking about, hopefully it turns more blue, lost a little bit of color, but this one right here, got it, it was getting its butt kicked, and it was getting its butt kicked because um, I had a hammer laying right on, directly on top of it, um, like I said, the fish swim and they knock things over, and uh, one of those heads was sitting directly on top of it. And then I was eating dinner and I was like, oh shit. So I got my uh, little tongs, picked it up off of there, and it's starting to bounce back again. This guy right here in my tank, lots of personality. Starry Eye Blenny. Highly, highly recommend you get it some kind of Blenny, some kind of Gobi. Uh, because these guys are freaking awesome. Uh, they just... Don't swim around. They swim around. They're looking outside of the tank and they're checking out what you're doing. But um, this guy, decent growth, I guess. But um, everything's going good as far as it can be. I kind of just been neglecting the tank due to the uh, holidays. But uh, you know what? New year, and uh, I'm gonna get some more cleanup crew right here. Some more turbos, and go from there. The fish, fish are doing good. I haven't killed anybody. All my fish are healthy. All my fish are eating. The latest additions that I did were the uh, fire shrimp, fire fish that I picked up from uh, the coral reef, which I need to go back. And I'll probably go over there and talk to Alan, say what's up. But this is rock right here, full of pallies. I'm thinking about completely taking this rock out, just letting it sit outside where those pallies can't poison anybody. And... Uh, get some more rock in here, some dry rock or something, and maybe re-aquascape this whole entire side of the tank because I don't like those pallies. But as you can see, I wanted to show you this little mushroom right here. This little mushroom right here is the reason why my hammers that I showed you had some dead heads on them because it was stinging the crap out of things. I got a little piece right there, and uh, I just need to fix up some of the stuff. So in the next video, you'll see some things fixed up and go from there. I well, hope you guys are doing good. And uh, those of you on the East Coast are staying warm, you know. I've been watching the news and holy shit. Let me just back it up and give you a full tank shot of the fish swimming around. I could just sit here, chill, watch the fish swimming around and uh, look at all the corals, look at all the movement. I come up with brainstorming ideas and I'm going to change this up. I'm going to do that. I'm going to keep these lights. I'm going to add more flow. Um, speaking of flow, I only got two pumps in the tank now. So it should be uh, pretty sweet, guys. Lots of little changes coming up. Look forward to doing that contest. I'll let you guys know when um, and go from there. Make sure you guys subscribe. Follow me on the Instagram, 915-M-A-N-G, Mang. And uh, you know what, I post videos and stupid shit, and uh, if you guys want to follow along, look me up. Make sure you like and subscribe, you guys take care. 
Um, still haven't added doors. Maybe I can do that for 2018 and uh, go from there. Thanks for watching. You guys have a good one. Like and subscribe. Take care. Peace.